Hello, this is Oksana Alabama, your favorite realtor in Mobile, and today on the channel, I'm going to introduce you to Tyler. Hello, I'm Tyler Houston with Annie Mac Home Mortgage. I'm uh, super happy to be here with Oksana today, and hopefully we can teach you a couple of things. All right, today we're going to talk about closing costs and uh, the local bank uh, you must know. All right, uh, Tyler, please tell about yourself. I'm Tyler Houston. I work with Annie Mac Home Mortgage. I am a veteran. I was in the United States Coast Guard for a little under six years. I'm originally from California. I now live in the great state of Alabama, more specifically Mobile. So if you are coming to the area, please, you know, reach out to me and I would love to help you. How do we pronounce Annie Mac Mortgage? Annie Mac Home Mortgage. Tell us about this company. So Annie Mac Home Mortgage has been around since 2011. Um, our founder is Joseph Lubanco. He is a fantastic businessman. He actually was a bonds tradesman. So he's been, you know, he knows all about everything that has to do with bonds and he has ran a successful mortgage company. Uh, my office is in Pensacola, Florida. I uh, do loans in Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. Now, if you want a loan done anywhere else in the country, we're licensed in, I believe, 48 states. So we have plenty of people that can help you. Just, you know, please contact me and we can uh, get that set up for you. Uh, okay, so uh, let's show the buyers uh, this plan of uh, when they're buying a house, what steps they're doing. So we start here, getting a pre-qualification from you. How long does it take your bank to pre-qualify somebody? So in order to give a good pre-qualification or pre-approval, it takes typically around 24 hours. Um, that's all going to depend on how fast the borrower can give me the documents that I'm going to ask for. It might seem scary in a lot of documents, but you know, this is the biggest purchase that you're going to be making. We want to make sure that everything's smooth. That way there's no hiccups when we're going to the closing table and you can make sure that you're going to get your keys to your house on time. Mm -hmm. So, finding a home, pre-processing, contract when we bought got getting a house, inspection, mm -hmm. appraisal, yep. underwriting, uh, closing condition, closing department, final walkthrough, title company, closing. So, there is a circle of steps we have to do. All right. Closing cost. Now you might be surprised that you actually have to come in with different money that's not your down payment. Well, that's gonna uh, include your loan origination fee. Now that's gonna depend on each company. For the most part, that's covering the processing and underwriting fees. Now title fees. You're like, why do I need this title work? Well, they are protecting you from additional liens on the property that you might not be aware of. And then you have your homeowner's insurance. Homeowner's insurance, you actually have to pay 12 months up front and they require a three month reserve and that's the same thing with the property taxes property taxes you know we have to make sure that we have it paid in full and we also have that three month reserve then you have the agency fee yes uh my remax charges 275 dog fee every agency has uh, different fees uh that buyer will have to pay yeah and uh please explain us more about mortgage insurance because uh, some people don't understand that even not bringing 20% uh, down payment, uh, they have to pay mortgage insurance. So, what is mortgage insurance? Great question. So, mortgage insurance is basically because you weren't able to put, you know, the required amount down. Typically, it's 20% for uh, conventional. Uh, that just means that you have an additional payment to cover, you know, that lapse of down payment or that lack of down payment that you do have. Thank you. Um, his information is going to be here. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Thank you. Thank you for having me.